in our world, any small advantage you can get from, from whatever you use, it pays the dividends. And having a lung system, we just start making those parts now and we can see the difference in the surface finishes. And now, same pieces and speed, same tools, same machines, and it's better. We're out on our journeys again, and guess what? Another Lang system, this time Nurch Precision Engineering. Conrad, thanks for having us along. Everywhere I go, I see these. Why have you bought it? We have it because we need more safe war holding. On, on the base is a pre-stamping unit. So we stamp the material, we make sure that we do not introduce any more stress to the material when we hold in the voices. That's why we start with a pre-stamping unit, and then we have um, multiple different options from land to, to hold the okay. parts. So you can use it all around the workshop, essentially? We use them all around the workshop, yes. All the machines, pretty much, yes. Right, so if someone hasn't seen this system, first of all, this is a starting point, I'm assuming. Talk us through what happens here. In so, fact, show us. Yeah, so you take a piece of material, right? You set it up in a, in a pre-stamping unit because this mimics your voice. So wherever you place your part in, the same way you will, you are able to put it in the voice. So your your loading sort of scenario is already sorted. So you know that will be in the right place. You put it against the stop. Set your um, pressures correctly. And basically, I'm presuming just adjusting this manual just stop, the stop yeah, to whatever you want. Do, do whatever you want with it. Make it wherever you want it on the machine, pretty much, right? What size billet can you go to? Um, as high as you want. And I think it's up to 300 mil wow. on the actual width. We haven't tested that yet, but <laughs> I think that's, because that's, like I said, it mimics the biggest yep. micro grip vice they have, and that's 300 mil or so. Okay, so pop it in here, set your datum essentially. Yeah, and then just press this one, it starts clamping, you wait for the pressure, pressure builds up. And this is, that's a bit you like there, the... Uh... Yeah, that's the turbo kind of noise. And then you have a pre stamp billet, all the annotations, and then it will locate in the same place always, right? Okay, you say always, two things, what depth of cut? What depth is that? That's three mil. So we are holding our parts on three mil for various reasons. Most of them saving time and money for our customers. How's it saving time? Um, less machining on the other side. Okay. Unless we do five axes, we still less machining, and then saving us money on material. Right. So you pre-stamp the billet. It's into your vice. Easy to. I mean, it's a, I know it's a vice, not complex. But it's easy to use. Very easy. To, well, I mean, I use it, so it must be easy, <laughs> right? Now it is. It's, it's very straightforward. It's, it's a simple press that, um, that you have a you know specialized sort of system to hold parts in. There is a special form that allows you to hold the parts without um, stressing them too much in the voices. Right. So in the old days, or still some people use it, you have those old vices when you have a lot of material. You really, really clamp it very hard. Right. That introduces all these stresses to the material. So you machine it. It, it sounds okay then you release the voice and the part goes all over the places, right? Mm -hmm. With this one, you don't have that issue. Not only the vices when you clamp the raw material, they give you that advantage, but also when you clamp pre-machine components, so like a second op, they also hold the parts very flat and true. Right. So it's really, it's a good system. Excellent, so you're not stressing that material, you're getting better surface finishes ultimately. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we just have that one example, we, we just changed oh, the... Yes, yeah. this example here. Yeah, so we, we are using a very small tool on this one to machine the spigots and run the spigots. And you might say, oh, it doesn't make a difference when you have something like that, but it does. It's, in our world, any small advantage you can get from, from whatever you use, it pays the dividends, right? And, and having a lung system, we just start making those parts now and we can see the difference in the surface finishes. The small spigots, they used to be a bit more like rough finish. Yep. And now, same pieces and speed, same tools, same machines, and it's better. So I only can point to this one, right? Excellent. Now, very quickly though, it's a modular system, so you've got your voice, zero point system, so voice into here, but also, what's this here? This is a 90 degree tower, so that, that locates on a zero point, and then with a voice, the voice can go this way, that way, or any 90 degree way, which means we can produce a part, um, that sort of finish on the side, yep. and then on the other one as well. So pretty much we can put the voice in there, clamp it, unclamp it, put it all the way around, clamp it, done. It's giving you a lot of flexibility. Um, it's, it's our easier way to get four axis machine because we don't really have 
four axis work that much, but for something like that, like three plus two machine kind of thing, yep. that's perfect. It's brilliant. Okay, so saving you time, repeatable. I'm throwing these all at you because one final thing I want to finish up is when you see your competition using different devices, it makes you happy because it means you can get a better product out of yes. these devices. Yes, it means from the start, I'm in a better place. Brilliant. Conrad, Nurture Precision Engineering, using the Lang system, absolutely love it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Colin.